tuning in to the spiritual, spiritual vault. vault. I am Abu Nam, aka Nikki Love, your African Indigenous traditional healer. And I am Brother Dinkra, your African Indigenous traditional healer. And uh, we got a special show tonight, family. This is something we don't normally do, but we did a reading the other night on uh, one of the uh, UFC boxers. boxers, and someone hit us up in box. You know what? Joe Rogan is really popular. And why don't you guys do a reading on Joe Rogan? He doesn't like psychics. Well, first of all, we're not psychics. We're seers, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't like to use the Western terminology. But um, I want to say that I, you know, we don't like to turn our fans on. So we said, okay, well, we'll go ahead and do a reading on uh, Joe Rogan. Now, I learned to Joe Rogan from my husband because I didn't know who he was, never knew who he was. <laughs> And the first yeah. couple of shows I've seen, he turned me on to this year was uh, he was interviewing Mike Tyson mm -hmm. and another Chinese guy that was going to the Amazon. And those are the only two shows. So I really don't know anything about Joe Rogan. OK, my husband knows a little bit more than I do, but we're going to have to prove Joe Rogan wrong. He thinks psychics are a scam. Now, Joe Rogan, I'll tell you to your face if you're listening to the show right now, psychics. Some of them are scams, but you need to run into the real. I'm going to use the word psychic for, for Western terminology terms, okay? But we're seers. But we do the same thing. There's no difference. But we're going to have to kind of, you know, debunk that, that, that comment of psychics being scams, okay? Yeah, um, I kind of agree with some of the things you said on it, but the whole scam part, that more comes from people seeing uh, vulnerability in people and taking advantage of it. And there, there are a lot of people that are fake out there um, that are scams, but there's a lot of real ones that people don't come across. Yeah, well, if he's in L.A., they're all fake. You know, remember the TV show we were watching where all the psychics was just scheming people, the gypsy psychics were scheming mm -hmm. people? So, yeah, in L.A., most of them are probably damn fake just to make but money. What made him say that was his experience in New York when he went to Well, New, New York, too. Don't, don't get it confused. <laughs> New York, too, because I actually... Was a couple of years ago. I went back home to visit New York, and I was walking down the street, and this gypsy, you know, said, "Oh, come in and get a psychic reading." She had no idea that I can see probably better than her. I said, "Okay, how much is it? Five dollars? Okay, I'll pay you five dollars." So I think it was ten dollars, something like that. So I went in there, and she started telling me stuff, and I'm looking at her like, "No, that's not true. No, that's not true, right?" Yeah. So then I flipped the script on her. I flipped the script on her. Start reading her. I said, I don't even know you. I said, but you know what? You better stop scamming a lot of people. I said, and you're telling people things are going on that you know damn well is not going on. She looked at me and she was like, uh, uh, can you get out of my shop, please? I was like, no, because you're a scammer. <laughs> so, yeah, I do know they can be scams. That's a, a true story. I was on Broadway, on yeah. Broadway in New York, and it was they, they pass out the flyers in New York. And, you know, they do the readings like that. But before we go on, let's play the little clip of Joe Rogan talking about this, you know, his rant on hilarious psychics and then we're going to give him a complimentary reading okay okay Sounds like a plan okay. based because the fan asked us to only because the fan asked us to okay let's not get it confused so <laughs> i think psychics are open late at night because a it's a scam and b when people are it's late at night they're drunk and like maybe it's a girl who's driving home, the guy texted her, and she doesn't know, should I text him back? Why is he texting me so late? That's kind of disrespectful. I don't know if he's the one. And she pulls into that psychic's office. And she's like, I just need you to tell me about my future. And the psychic is like, I sense there's a problem in romantic interest. Ugh, my boyfriend. Yes, yes, there's, you're stressed. There's something deeply troubling you. You're... You're confused. I am confused. Yes, you're confused. You're trying to, the decision's hard to, there's something coming up, something's happening. Can you ask me to come over to the house and fuck him? I don't want to get it. Yes, that's it. There's a thing that he's wanting you to do that you're not so sure if he's the one. Is that it? Yes! Oh my God, that's what I said when I was on the way over here. And then when he said, you're not sure if he's the one, I'm like, oh my fucking God, is it like written on my forehead? How is it possible he knows? He fucking knew about Mark. He knew about our relationship problems. And he knew that I was on my way over there wondering whether or not he's the one. I don't think he's the one. I don't think he's the one. 
I think you're my favorite girl voice guy. All right, there you have it. You hear him ranting and pretending <laughs> to be a psychic, talking about how they're so, you know. Go ahead, Brother Dick. I, th I think that was kind of funny, but um, he's kind of on point with some of the things that a lot of people do, you know, as far as scamming. But, I, like I say, I, it's, it's some real psychics out there, and I done met him. Um, like, people can... It's one thing for somebody, for you to approach somebody and tell them, and they tell you all of this stuff that, you know, when you go get a reading. But it's another thing for somebody to just walk up to you and tell you things about your life and they never met you. Like, you know, describe your mom to you, describe your grandmother, or describe a friend. Not even somebody that's related, because sometimes people will describe somebody that's a friend to you and tell you exactly how they look, the things they be saying, things they say all the time and tell you the things that they're doing and then that will actually come true and you're like how how did that person actually know and it has nothing to do with being a scam you know mm -hmm. people can't read that on you about your friends you know what i'm saying well i guess he has yet to experience real uh quote unquote psychics okay um you know, first of all, I you know I'm gonna go ahead and get into what I see with him. Um, this is interesting, you know, because what what I see is like right now, and I you know some people will say it's kind of obvious, but to me is it's not because everybody have their own you know mm -hmm. different way of doing things. But I I see that um, he, he you know I watch Joe Rogan, so I know that he you know. The whole thing, like he's switching over to Spotify and stuff like that. But I see this was the like, you know, everything that he he's done like currently in his career, like up to this point, was pretty much um, was planned out. He had a plan. He he put a plan in place of what he wanted to do, and he was really trying to fill out where he wanted to be in um, the next couple of years in his life. And um, you know, so. Everything would happen with the pandemic, and now he's he said on the show that he was uh, planning to uh, to move out of California, out of state to Texas. And what I see with that is, is you know, um, for him it's a good move. But what I, I'm seeing, I don't know, I don't know. I'm picking up that I don't know if his wife is going to be happy with that move. Well, let me just tell you what I see with Joe Rogan. First of all, he's a seer. Mm -hmm. He's a psychic himself. We're using the term, uh, the you Western, know, term. Western terminology because yeah. he's he's talking about psychics, but he has a very strong gift to see. He mm -hmm. don't even realize how his in intuition is. Yeah. All he does know when he's pretending, yeah. right? So what I see with him is he follows his he follows his visions, he follows his thoughts, he follows his mind. So any move that he's made. From the time of his, whatever he did in his beginning of his career, because I don't know that much about him, to be fair with everybody, I really don't. I only learned about him through my husband. Um, I see spiritually that he's made a lot of wise decisions in the last maybe 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. right? And I see that he's followed his, his mind, his guide, you know, his own intuition, he had a lot of input around him, a few friends he deals with. People might have yeah, said, yeah, he did smart, it. smart friends. Right, smart friends. But for the most part, Joe Rogan is who he is. Mm -hmm. He is a very gifted man in many different ways. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the little bit of research I did do, to be fair, um, knowing he was in com uh, comedy, right? Was mm -hmm. he in comedy first? Yeah, he was in comedy. Um, okay. Um, then... Uh, he he's a comedian. Matter of fact, he is a comedian, and he does. Uh, he's a commentator for uh, the UFC. Okay. So he's a, okay. the most known commentator, you know. So. Okay. He's pretty, and he's pretty good at that. And he, he's into martial arts. He's really into martial arts. So I think it's more. He, he I think he, he probably would have took that job for free because it seemed like he really loves, uh, you know, doing that. The martial arts. So, yeah. so he's multi-talented. He's gifted mm -hmm. in many different ways. Um, so that's why he is who he is and that's why he's popular as he is. Um, he has a really good heart. I see that he's a very, he has a very good heart. Sometimes he can be an asshole, mm -hmm. but he, uh, for the most part, he has a good heart. He's very big on privacy. Now that I will say that I did read privacy, right? Mm -hmm. But for the most part, 
um, what I do notice about him is that he still has to, Joe Rogan has to let go of his past issues. Now, to be fair again, I did read something about his dad, right? There were some experiences that he had when he was younger. Well, there's one experience I want to share with him, and I don't know, it, it, the spirit keeps showing me like, I don't know if it was a plate or some type of plate, or he was eating out of, and, and something happened with his dad, and it fell out of his hand. You know, um, I don't ever profess to be 150% right, but I'm seeing the vision, something when he was a little boy, okay, and it was a plate. I don't know if he didn't eat all of his food and his dad slapped the plate off the table or something in that manner, mm -hmm. something in that manner that I see, and, and, and he was crying. He's a cute little boy, cute little boy. I also did read this part about his family coming from... Uh, um, his grandfather bringing them from uh, where he they didn't even say from where they just said to Newark, New Jersey. Now I will tell you this: I do I did pick up in his looks. He definitely has Italian in him. That's that's public knowledge. I yeah. did see the Italian all, all, off the rep. Um, I did see the Irish off the rep, and I believe the Irish is coming from his mother's side. Okay, that's what Spirit is showing me. But what I see is that his father was an angry man because his father was the same way. Mm. So his grandfather was like that with his father. And that uh, masculinity of always hitting and you have to be a man, that's that, that's that Italian, you know, Italian type of way. You know, a man has to be a man, you know. Yeah, the, the, and, you know uh, yeah, yeah, you know, come on now, you know, come on, Joe, you have to be a man. You know, you can't let no woman talk to you like that. You know, that's <laughs> that, that, that's the Italian thing. I grew up in Brooklyn with Italians and I lived in Jersey at one time. So I know the ways of, of Italians. So I know he's not lying about that. But his father, his father had a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. His father, also I do see that his father drank too. And a lot of that energy that he's seen with his dad, according to what they're saying, him fighting, what I see spiritually is it came from disagreeable spirits using his dad. His dad had issues from when he was younger. His mm -hmm. dad used to, his father's father used to beat him like that. It was like they have to beat you into manhood. Mm. And you know... It, it probably was just the time in the area he grew up in because a lot of people like around our age group experienced that. I experienced that. I don't know if you experienced that. You know, we really haven't talked too much about stuff like that. But I, I just know that, you know, growing up in that era, a lot of us experienced like parents like that. And then you have some parents, some kids that never experienced stuff like that. So, but I, I, I could see that because it's just like stuff was like that was okay back then. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know if it was okay. I mean, but... I'm saying it was yeah. okay. It was the point where people weren't going to jail for it. Well, yeah, they wasn't going to jail. Back in the <laughs> 60s and the 70s, it was like, you know, you were a disciplinary, you know what I mean? And I know, you know, especially from being from different backgrounds, a lot of, lot, a lot of different backgrounds were no different than others, although we think they are. You know, like we'll talk about how strict African parents was, but African and Americans' parents were strict too back then. Mm -hmm. You know, your neighbor could beat you. Then you had the Italians, you had the French. Their parents didn't play either. So pretty much Chinese parents didn't play. Yeah. So pretty much it's, it's just universal thing. But but what I do know is that I know I don't know how Joe feels about that, but I do know that for a long time he had that against his dad. He held mm -hmm. that against his dad. And what I'm seeing is that he must understand that his dad was raised in the same manner, right? Yeah. So being he was raised in the same manner, he didn't know any other way. Mm -hmm. he, he's going to teach you how to be a man, right? Yeah. He was a little bit too rough. I do see that. Like I said, I see an incident with a plate and a fork. And then all of you sitting at the table, he didn't want to eat something. I don't know if it was broccoli or something he didn't want to eat. Or, or some type of something he didn't want to eat. And his dad hit him and the plate fell on the floor and he started crying. That's what I see. Yeah. Okay. So, um, moving forward, I'll go to, what else did you see? I see, I see. <laughs> it's funny that you said that because you see what I'm saying? It, I did pick up that he, he, that he did have some kind of intuition gift. I couldn't tell if it was, um, I couldn't tell if it, if it was a, a, a seeing gift or I, I just picked up he was spiritual. You know what I mean? He, he has this spirituality about him but I could you know that's what I was picking up with him but more or less I, I just see a lot of um, I do see, I do see that um, 
there are some, you know, people that kind of like hate on him in his relationship as far as outside. But, you know, you get that when you when you get to fame and money. I, I see mm -hmm. that some people have tried to do things against him spiritually, but I don't see that it worked. Hmm. Joe Rogan got Italian blood, Italian blood got Moorish blood, Moorish yeah, blood are black, protected. so let's not get it confused, you understand, we got to understand that, <laughs> Irish too, Irish too, but um, um, I, 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 what I see with him and his wife, um, looking at their picture, him and his wife are soulmates, mm -hmm. it's sort of like they connected, it's sort of like when they met each other, they, they kind of knew each other, like I recognize you from the past or whatever. I know you. I know your mm -hmm. spirit. They've they have familiar spirits. I see that they have had past lives together. Um, I see that they have pretty much of a good relationship. His wife can be a little stickler sometimes, you know, nah, 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 nah. but <laughs> he loves the ground she walks on. Um, she really is good to him and he's good to her. I see that they have a, a beautiful energy. They've had their differences in the past, but I think mm -hmm. as they grew into their one ship, as I call their marriage, yeah. it, it, it was like, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? But she's a very good supporter of Joe Rogan. Um, she loves the ground he walks on. Um, and they've had their few issues, but nothing nobody else don't have in their marriages. Yeah. But for the most part, they're definitely soulmates, and they're going to be together a lot longer than they even are. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're going to be together. Um, she does complain a little bit about not being happy sometimes, mm -hmm. right? But um, yeah, I just kept picking up like it might get worse even like like when she the move to Texas. But I don't know. I mean, that doesn't necessarily that it won't work. It's just you know you don't want things to linger. Joe Rogan got some, he moved to Texas for a reason. Mm -hmm. I see that he wanted to get out of that, uh, that, that California energy, energy because it really didn't resonate with him only for money, yeah. only for money. He's got a, a more of an entrepreneur spirit um, and then he's got a lot of wisdom. I don't know if he's thinking about dealing with some uh, oil or investing in some oil, but he's had some investment in some type of oil in, in Texas. Yeah, that. he's he's doing some business there. It's not just a move for him to be there, but he's also he sees big things in Texas, past yeah. the podcast and everything else. I just see yeah. that he's making some, you know, moves and some investments. I I keep seeing that, you know, as well as he has a podcast, he's with Spotify. I see that he may have his own. He may do his own. You know, he's on YouTube, Spotify, but his own like a mm -hmm. whole whole another night network, like type, network thing. type of thing. If he doesn't already have one, okay. Um, but, um, he's a very smart dude. He's a, he's a very smart dude, but, um, he seems, uh, what I pick up with him, he seems kind of well read too. Like he likes to read or something. I don't know. It's just something about his spirit. Just, just, I don't know. It sticks out. I to told me. you he's very intuitive. He's, he, he, what do you mean? Read books like, yeah, yeah. Right. He's a very intelligent guy. He's not a dumb guy. Mm -hmm. You can definitely tell. And he does like to read, but I see just, he has a very strong, natural, intuitive. He kind of reminds me of Mike Tyson's uh what's his name his old what was it oh yeah custom model custom model for some <laughs> reason he has that type really, of energy as custom model yeah wow. he's a good guy and I'm gonna be honest with you I don't see one racist bone in his body I don't see one prejudice bone he's he's genuinely real mm -hmm. like if he likes you he likes you and give you black yellow purple green you know yeah I mean? that's I picked that up with him too you know uh, a couple of podcasts I seen him even break down and cry because some of the stories was so heartfelt that he was hearing. Yeah, because he's people. empathic. Yeah, he's so I, I I believe that about him. I don't think he's racist at all. No, he's a spiritual dude. He's not. He's not. He's not like the. To me, I pick up like he's really not fake. Like he don't like the. He's not one of these type of guys that's gonna pretend. Mm -mm. You know. Mm -hmm. so. I don't pick that, but I mean overall, he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Um, one of his children. I don't know. I, and I keep picking up. He has a boy. I don't know if he has two boys and a girl. Like I said, I don't always profess to be 150% right, but I keep seeing three. I know he has three children. This, that's public knowledge. But I keep seeing one boy, a little boy. And this little boy looks just like him. Mm -hmm. I don't see that he has any pictures anywhere on the web of the children either. You guys can Google it yourself. But I keep picking up one of the boys that looks like him when he was little. This little boy is brilliant. He's going to be very athletic. I'm not sure... If this boy looks like maybe early teens, and again, I could be wrong. I don't profess to be right, but um, I keep seeing he looks like 
his dad and he he really looks up to Joe Rogan like he wants to be like his dad. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a good <laughs> That's thing. That's a good thing. But he he but what I see about this kid is he's almost got like superhero energy. Mm-hmm. Like this kid is like brilliant and he's going to be athletic like his dad, but he's a little he's going to be a little bit better than his dad. Mm. Right? Yeah. Why do I keep picking up a little girl? I don't know if it's two boys and a girl, but I keep picking up. I could be wrong. Again, I don't profess to be 105. And let me say this. If anybody's watching this, no, we're not always 100% right. But real psychics will give you bits and pieces, okay? So I keep picking up a, a, a girl. A girl. She's cute. She's a cute girl. And it's sort of like he spoils her. Yeah. Yeah, she's spoiled, okay? What else do you see? You know, um, you ain't slick that try to get me. No, nah, see, but that's but that's the thing. That's that's what I all I picked up was you know with that somebody did try to send energy, but it didn't work. I did see that he was intuitive. You know, I did see the disagreements with him and the wife. You know what I mean? And but I don't know. I just I don't know. I I keep picking up like she she probably you know like more of the energy in California as far as. Mm-hmm. Maybe just to, just probably just because it's California. It is nice in California, but I think too the politics, you know, got to him a little bit too. Like the things that because mm-hmm. that's what mostly he talks about. Like a lot of stuff, the political aspect of s- certain things in California. You know. Mm-hmm. So oh, I didn't know that, but anyway, I just okay. So his wife is saying you feel like she's not going to be happy in Texas. Okay, is Joe Rogan's wife going to be happy in Texas? Texas, Texas. I see she's already made some, you know, calls to him about that. I mean, conversation wise. Mm-hmm. Um, she's going to get used to it, though. Yeah. Um, he's good at convincing her that, hey, this is the best thing we could do. This is the best place. It's big. Texas is big. And you know mm-hmm. what? We got this going on, that going on. So I think eventually she's going to get used to being in yeah. Texas. Yeah, she is kind of used to that California energy. But, you know, she's going to get used to it. My thing is she loves him so it's like, yeah, she's going to speak her mind, but whatever you want, Joe, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm going to support and do. I don't like it right now, but maybe I'll get used to it. You know yeah. what I mean? So, and, you know, and then it depend on, depends on what they're moving to. I don't know where they moved to in Texas. but Well, I mean, but we're saying that. So, I mean, the guy's a really good guy. I mean, I have to honestly say now, um, I do know that um, there's an older woman that walks with them. Mm-hmm. This older woman likes like she may be a grandmother, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, this woman it, it looks like it's coming from his maternal from his mother's side. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy is I keep picking up a lot of features from his mom that is Italian too. There's a there, like they said there's a little bit of Irish in there, but I see more a strong very you know, a strong vision of his mom. He looks a lot like his mom. He looks a lot like his mom. He looks like his dad, too. He looks like his dad. People will look at him and say, you look like your dad. But when you see his mom and their face together, that round face, that, that them thick eyebrows, that Italian look, he looks a lot like his mom. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. His mom is dealing with some health problems. See some high blood pressure with his mom. Um, a little bit of arthritis I'm picking up with her. Hmm. I don't know. Remember this, we see past, present, and future. I'm believing that his mom is still alive, but I'm picking up an old lady that's walking around with him. She's a little old lady, the cutest little thing. And she, she talked with a very, you know, very northern accent. Mm-hmm. All right? I don't know if she keeps calling him Joey. Um, and she's the grandmother. She has short hair. At one time she had long hair, but as she got older, it looks like she cut her hair. And she cut her hair. She used to always keep her hair nice. And she, she, I keep seeing jewelry with this older woman. Like she was a little bit flashy. Mm. Right? This is the old woman that walks with him. She constantly walks with him. And she walks with him. I don't know. I keep picking up the name with an E. I don't know if it's Ella. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on the names. But it's, it's, it's something with an E. She might have an E in the middle name. Or I'm trying to pick. Sometimes I get the name. Sometimes I don't. But she loves him. She walks with him a lot. Um, and also she looks out for the, the girl. If he has a girl, if that's what I'm saying, she looks out for one of his children. She's always with, and I keep saying around the girl for some reason. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the wife too, she's worried about her daughter. 
or her granddaughter, because mm. I keep saying it's a grandmother. Yeah, it's a grandmother. Mm-hmm. Well, on his, his mom's side, right? Your on his mother. mom's side. You see picking up a grandmother on his mom's side? On his mom's side, right. Yeah, now, his, his dad, his dad got to be careful. I don't know. His dad, uh... Hmm. I don't know if I'm picking up his dad in the, in the ancestral realm or one foot in or one foot out, but I don't know if his dad is, is sick. He's having some health problems or he had health problems. Um, and I'm talking about serious health problems. I keep picking up colon cancer or some type of cancer between prostate and colon cancer with his dad. Like, again, I don't profess to be right. But I keep seeing, I keep picking up in the ancestral realm, which means he could either be going or, you yeah, know what I mean? Already be there. Already be there. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say his dad, uh, 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 I don't know. It looks like he has, it looks like, it looks like his, he said, now on this, one of the podcasts, he said he didn't have any brothers, right? Mm -hmm. But. I keep picking up other siblings. It may not be brothers, but I keep picking up. I pick up another, maybe a sister that he had. Because mm. it looks like his dad had one or two more children after their mom separated. And it could be two girls. Okay. Um, huh. Interesting. I'll tell you this. I hate to bust his bubble, but there's a brother that they don't know about. Really? There's a brother that they don't know about, and there's a woman that his dad was messing with, and she got pregnant, but she didn't want to tell the dad. She was afraid. I don't know if they were dealing with any type of mob ties or stuff like that, but she didn't want to tell the dad. And he has a brother that he doesn't know about, and he sort of favors him. Mm. But the, the woman did not want to tell his, didn't want to tell him. Tell his father. And it looks like it was a one night stand and I'm seeing the woman. And now in that in in the little bit of research I did, to be fair, again, public knowledge, um, his dad had a bar. And this woman came to that bar. And this woman, they had a one night stand and she got pregnant. Mm. Oh yeah, see right here. Is it doesn't I, I was trying to see if his dad was alive. I don't see that, but it does say it says he said that his dad used to beat his mom, so they got divorced. Okay. I don't know how true that is. Sometimes people put anything. They put anything on the web. Anything on the internet. Well, I'm right now. I'm tapping in. I don't know too much about Joe Rogan. I'm doing this reading because my husband said somebody put it in our inbox. Since we're reading at Asanya and they seen him on the Joe Rogan show, can we turn around and read Joe Rogan? Since Joe Rogan's so popular, so this is what we're doing this for for the fans. Mm -hmm. um, again, I learned about Joe Rogan from my husband not too long ago when he put me on to the interview with uh, Mike, Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson. And then I and was watching. I forgot watching the other guy's name is, I think it's Cho or Cha. I forgot. Yeah, who the Chinese was. guy. And the Mike Tyson interview was good only because I grew up in Brooklyn and in Brownsville with Mike Tyson. So I was very interested and I love hot boxing with Mike Tyson. Yeah. So that I start watching Joe Rogan with my husband and that's how I know about him. But for the most part, I, I mean, that's pretty much I see. Um, overall, he's a good guy, um, you know, and, and I'm happy. I'm proud of him for doing his thing. And he's got so much more on his agenda yeah, I like that to he's see not sharing with everybody. But he's got some other business ventures going on, too. I like to see people be successful, especially those that are entrepreneurs, no matter what, if they black, white, or whatever. I like to see that, you know? Mm -hmm. Because too many of us, you know, rely on um, working for corporations and not stepping out there, you know, and doing their own thing. And I had that's something that I had to learn from you. Mm -hmm. You know, because I was too busy, like, I, I got to get this money, I got to work. Only way I could get this money is work. And then, you, you know, you taught me to, you know, just be patient and let things come to you. And more than anything, really the reason why I listen to you, because you say, you know, because of my ancestors, you said it and my ancestors said it. So, you know, right. a lot of times I get mad and I'll be like, ah, oh, you know, and but. One of I his children a is a very intelligent child. All of his kids are smart, but I had to put this out there before we go. Mm -hmm. There's one that's a nerd. He wears glasses. I believe it's his oldest child. 
at. And when I say nerd, it's not in a bad way. He's always on the computer, but this kid is brilliant with the computer. That's one of his sons. Yeah, one of his sons. Okay. Well, with that being said, that's the uh, we're going to wrap up the spiritual vote. And uh, we hope y'all enjoyed this spiritual reading of Joe Rogan. Anything you want to tell the fans? Well, I look forward to us being back on live. Sunday night, we'll be back on live. We didn't do a show this week because we were busy, so family will definitely be on Sunday night. We got a lot of filming to do, you know, filming our Voodoo Chronicles, you know, filming, you know, uh, Two Dope Kings. We have a new show we're filming on, too, called The Queens of the Nile. So you guys, you know, we've been real busy. So we'll see you on Sunday night. See you soon. Blessings. Peace.